Hey, what's going on guys? Matt here and on this video I actually have a special guest. I've got Magdalena, one of our rock star students here. And what she's going to show on this video is actually online arbitrage sourcing at retail stores and she actually has a list that she's going to be sourcing from on this video. So we're going to get to it. downtown Vancouver right here in British Virgin Islands excuse me US Virgin Islands actually uh, this year in St. Thomas Island it's pretty amazing out here hey guys what's going on Matt here and uh, here in the Bahamas actually right now with hey guys Matt and Sherry here and we're coming to you from Lake Powell beautiful Lake Powell So Magdalena, how's it going? Hi, good, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so um, so basically, how does it work? So you find products, you're gonna be showing how you find products at stores, correct? Yes, so um, I will be showing what kind of tools I use to search from different online stores. Um, so uh, basically, this tool allows me to find products that are cheaper uh, then on Amazon and then I just resell it on Amazon uh, with a profit. I see. So mm -hmm. yeah, so you've got like um, this X110 wall switch mode module. Yeah. And uh, you made some 30 cents profit on that. They cap for it with other products like this one, the Meccano with $13, yeah. which is really good profit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some of these products you ain't gonna do that great on, but like that one, the Mechano Erector set, that's great. You know, you can make about $13 for every one of those that sells, so that's cool. Yes, yes. That's awesome. Like, uh, how, do you, how do you actually find these products? Yes, so for that I use um, a tool called T Tactical Arbitrage. So as you can see here, you have a drop down menu. You can choose, you know, any store you like. So there are different stores. Like at least I think now 600 or 700 stores that you can source from, uh, and now it will give me the list of all the products that um, that are compared with the prices on Amazon, um, and you know I, I can source from. But it did because it, this will take some time, and so this is a, some of the searches my VA ran. So I um, this is. I already have stores where I source from um, myself, where I know where I'm going to find some like, good deals. So I, I yeah. basically now um, concentrated on beauty products. So I look for like, on Sephora. I know, you know, if I look in, uh, in the sales section, there will always be something I can find. Or, uh, nice. Okay. So you spent uh, $1,573, yes. 85 cents. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then what do you think the projected profit will be on that? Just an estimate. Uh, <clears throat> usually it's, as I said, like between 20 to 30%. So yeah, it will be probably something of around 400 to 500 dollars. Yeah, so 400 to 500 dollars profit. Mm -hmm. And then what happens once you get the products uh, to your house? <laughs> So once I get the products to my house, you can see here are some boxes. Yeah. So that's all the products I received this week so far. So I think I have enough to actually um, make a shipment. Uh -huh. uh, so I will just basically open the boxes and scan all the products using a um, tool. So I use Inventory Lab for that. Uh -huh. batch and basically what I do I use this scanner here and show maybe I can just open one box and show this. so I just take it scan it
and it just loads up the product right in there in the inventory lab. Exactly. Oh, except it didn't show this time. <laughs> product not found, but that's not that's okay because I what I can do is I can go if that happens, which happens sometimes. I just go to my inventory uh, to my buying um, spreadsheet and I look for the product manual in Madison Reed. So basically what I do, I just look for the casing of this product and I just enter it manually. So usually the scanner works, but sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's the product here, exactly the same. One, um, I just look at the price I paid for it here. Uh, it was twenty dollars eighty eight cents. So I bought four of those. I put here, and it shows you the net profit here. So now it's selling for forty one dollars. I bought it for twenty dollars. Gives me eleven dollars. Mm -hmm. So I, my sales are anything between twelve. K and 15k a month. That's what I sell, um, and then I get, you know, my average profit is, um, I would say, 20 to 30 percent of it. Of 15. Gotcha. Yeah. So about 20 to 30 percent profit. So um, anywhere from uh, what is that? 2,000 to 3,000 dollars a month profit. Yes. Hey Matt, I charged $4,000 today. Ah, that's great, man. Good job. Did you use cash back? No, I forgot. No!